Hello, welcome to Extend Office. This video will explore how to count or sum data by background color, font color or conditional formatting color in Excel. In this article, we will introduce some tricks for counting and summing cells based on background color, font color and conditional formatting color step by step. In this section, we will talk about three easy methods for counting and summing cells based on cell color by using user defined function. Press Alt and F11 keys to open the Microsoft Visual Basic for Applications window. Then, click Insert Module to create a new blank module. Copy and paste this code into the blank module. Close the module window. Count cells based on the specific background color, please apply this formula. G2 is the reference cell with the specific background color, B2, E12 is the range where you want to count the number of cells, false is used to count cells with matching color. Press Enter key, and then drag the fill handle to fill the formula to other cells. Some cells based on the specific background color, please apply this formula. G2 is the reference cell with the specific background color, B2, E12 is the range where you want to sum the number of cells, true is used to sum cells with matching color. Then, drag the fill handle down to fill this formula to other cells. By using Q Tools for Excel. First, you should download and install Q Tools for Excel. Select the data range that you want to count or sum by color. Click Q Tools Plus Count by Color. In the dialog box, select Standard Formatting from the Color Method drop down list. Then, specify background from the Count Type drop down list. Now, you can preview the statistical results for each background color in the dialog box. At last, click Generate Report. You will get a new workbook with the calculated results. By using Filter and Subtotal. Supposing we have a fruit sales table and we will count or sum the colored cells in the amount column. To count all cells with the same background color, enter this formula. 102 represents to count numeric values in a filtered list, F2, F16 is the range over which the count will be calculated. Press Enter key to get the count result. To sum all cells with the same background color, enter this formula. 109 represents to sum up numeric values in a filtered list, F2, F16 is the range over which the sum will be calculated. Then press Enter key to get the sum result. Then, you can filter cells based on specific color and get the count and sum results automatically. Click the column header you want to filter by color. Click Data. Filter. Then, click Filter icon of the Amount column, select Filter by Color. Specify one cell color you want to filter. After filtering, the subtotal formulas automatically count and sum the colored cells in the Amount column. want to count or sum cells based on their font color in Excel. In this section, we'll show you two simple tricks to do just that. By using user defined function. Press Alt and F11 keys to open the Microsoft Visual Basic for Applications window. Then click Insert Module to create a new blank module. Copy and paste this code into the blank module. After pasting the above code, close the module window. Count cells based on the specific font color, apply this formula. B2, E12 is the range where you want to count the number of cells, G2 is the reference cell with the specific font color, count indicates to count cells with matching color. Then press Enter key to get the result. Drag the fill handle downwards to get other results. 
Some cells based on the specific font color apply this formula. B2, E12 is the range where you want to sum the cells. G2 is the reference cell with the specific font color. Sum indicates to sum cells with matching color. Press Enter key to get the result. Then, drag the fill handle downwards to get other results. By using Q tools for Excel, you should download and install Q tools for Excel first. Then, select the data range that you want to count or some cells based on a specific font color. Click Q tools plus count by color. In the dialog box, select standard formatting from the color method drop down list. Specify font from the count type drop down list. You can preview the statistical results for each font color. At last, click generate report. Now, a new workbook is created with the detailed statistics based on font color. In Excel, you may use the conditional formatting to apply specific color to cells that meet certain criteria. But what if you need to count or sum those specially formatted cells? While Excel doesn't offer a direct way for this, here are ways to maneuver around this limitation. By using VBA code, press Alt and F11 keys to open the Microsoft Visual Basic for Applications window. Then, click Insert, Module. Copy and paste this code into the blank module. Then press the Run button to execute this code. Select the data range, where you want to count and some cells based on conditional formatting. Then, select a specific color you want to count and sum. The result which includes both the count and sum of cells with the specified conditional formatting color are displayed in the prompt box. By using Q tools for Excel, select the data range that you want to count or sum cells based on a specific conditional formatting color. Click Q tools plus count by color. In the dialog box, Select Conditional Formatting from the Color Method drop-down list. Specify Background from the Count Type drop-down list. You can preview the statistical results for each conditioner formatting color in the box. Finally, click Generate Report. The detailed statistics based on the conditional formatting color have been displayed in a new workbook. Thanks for watching, see you next time.